Today we are in a gorgeous formal potage kitchen garden and we're going to replant it for spring. This kitchen garden's been here for a few seasons and it is ready for a refresh. So I wanted to show you the beds before we get started. This bed has got garlic coming up so healthy from the winter planting. She did an awesome job of getting her garlic in early. She has this time here that is so productive and huge. We are gonna prune this back and tie it up for her to have time basically all year long. And then we'll see if it will come back later. She has these gorgeous obelisk trellises. We're gonna plant some peas along these. We've got all this planting space. We're gonna grow lots and lots of greens and root crops and some flowers. We have these beautiful antiqued obelisk trellises. We'll grow some more climbing things up these. We're gonna prune back this oregano. You can see how this is already coming back up. So all we gotta do is pull these sticks out. We've got another beautiful obelisk. We're gonna add my Nicole Arch trellis here to this walkway. So it's gonna provide this really gorgeous entrance to the gate right here. Then we've got one more big bed here. And then here in the back, she has these two extra L-shaped beds, which we're gonna get to add to as well. So um, we are about to have so much fun playing in the dirt. I can't wait to bring you along.
All right, it is uh, in the afternoon now. Sun is up. We definitely warmed up and got nice and dirty. And we planted out these four beds. We had the best time. I wanna show you everything we put in. So the first thing we did is add a flower border to these beds. We added pansies and snapdragons. They're perfect border uh, flowers for raised beds. And then we added some spring mix. We added some fennel and then we planted spinach by seed down the center. That's what's in, in these two beds. Um, the only exception is in that little corner here. We planted some mache or corn salad. So that's this bed and that bed. They're actually the exact same with the exception of the arch trellis. So we got to add my Nicole arch trellis to this bed and we planted it with these sugar snap peas that we were able to transplant. So we went ahead and tied these up with a little bit of twine. We've got about six inches or more of growth and you can see how these are already starting to cling to the trellis, which is so cool. So we did that on that side and on this one. And then we planted a little different in these back beds. So here in this bed, we did some rows of onions. We had lots of onion starts and you can see we planted like four rows, planted them pretty intensively about four to five inches apart. And then we put carrot seed and some lettuce seed right here down the middle. Then over here on this side, we did some beautiful red lettuces and some kale down the middle. Then here in the front beds, she already had garlic growing. So we kept that garlic, that's gonna produce all the way until like the summer. And then we added bok choy and some um, collards down the center. I just saw we have some extra collards here. So I'm gonna pick these up. But you can see the beautiful line of collards and bok choy. Then here on this side, this is the final side, we did add some French breakfast radish and some red lettuce spicy seed down the center here. We had a massive thyme plant. Let me show you all the thyme that we harvested. I mean, these things are so full and big, so fragrant. Mm. And there's a ton of it, literally a ton of thyme um, right here. So we went ahead and harvested back. I'm not sure if that plant's going to come back uh, from the prune, but we, we will see what happens. So um, it was a huge success. So much fun being out here in this garden. And uh, honestly, I've been a fan of Donald and Betsy Miller for years. And so to get to step out here and spend the day with her in her garden was a dream come true. So stay tuned. I'll keep you updated on how everything grows in and all the harvests that are ahead. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.